How's it going, you sexy beast? Today we'll be talking about the Genudyne Dynamics GD22S, the new conglomerate light machine gun. This weapon takes the LMG class and gives it a new spin with only a 50 round magazine and medium damage and fire rate capabilities compared to the standard NC6 Gauss cell. The GD22S is a very affordable weapon for newcomers to the new conglomerate's heavy assault scene and should be more than likely viewed as such. Don't get me wrong, this is an amazing weapon, but it's outshined by the far superior and also a lot more expensive Anchor Light Machine Gun. But enough about that, let's talk about the awesomeness of the Assault Rifle-esque GD-22S. If you've been having difficulty playing Heavy Assault on the new conglomerate solely due to the NC6 Gauss Saw fire rate or handling, then the GD-22S might be the weapon you've been looking for. It features a lower damage model and magazine capacity, but allows for much higher fire rate, and since the reload is significantly faster, you won't find yourself without a bullet when you need it the most. This weapon is well suited for close quarters combat, as well as keeping the fighting potential up to a medium range. The fact that the heavy assault class is built around light machine guns, it's very refreshing to have an assault rifle based LMG available. The GD-22S is very maneuverable and very strong for guerrilla warfare, which urban combat such as tech plants or biolabs sport a hefty amount of. With how the heavy assault class is built, the nanite mesh generator complements how the GD-22S handles quite well. With dodging in and out of combat, this weapon quickly drops targets left and right and gives the user the ability to hold a very large offensive role in the battlefield, which other light machine guns just can't compete. If you're into being highly offensive while keeping the pressure onto your targets, the GD-22S is probably the weapon you're looking for. So, I'm sure you all want some numbers, right? The GD-22S fires at a rate of 577 rounds per minute, which is slightly faster than the default NC6 Gauss Saw. With the increased fire rate, the GD-22S lacks the pure stopping power of the Gauss Saw. Even then, every round fired from the GD-22S deals 167 damage, which means you'll drop your target in just 6 rounds. A full magazine holds 50 rounds, with 200 rounds in the reserve. This allows the weapon to hold a potential of 8 kills with one magazine, and another 33 from your ammunition reserve. Dropping a target in 6 bullets and firing at a rate of 577 rounds per minute, this gives this weapon a total time to kill of 0.62 seconds. Now, realistic time to kill takes into consideration the average accuracy of Planetside 2 players, which was released by the big Higby himself, stating that the average accuracy was about 30%. With that, realistic time to kill of the GD-22S is 1.87 seconds. The reload speed with the round left in the magazine is 3.44 seconds, and a reload speed of an empty magazine is 4.3 seconds. This is slightly above half the time needed to reload the NC6 Gauss Saw. Overall, the recoil of the GD-22S is pretty fair. It pulls upward at a rate of 0.4 degrees and also pulls to the right with each shot. The first shot multiplier is 1.5 times, meaning that the first bullet fired after pause and firing will kick just a bit harder. Projectile velocity of each round fired moves at a rate of 580 meters per second, which is arguably slow in terms of other LMGs. After giving you the personality of this weapon, let's talk a bit on how to fight with it. The GD-22S is technically a light machine gun, but acts in the same way as the Medic's Assault Rifles do. It's got a much smaller magazine than most light machine guns, so you'll have to perform and adapt to this fact. If you've seen my first episode of Certified Badass covering the Heavy Assault, you can transfer those rules into getting the best out of this weapon. Nanite Mesh Generator and Restoration Kits, combined with guerrilla tactics of dodging in and out of cover while firing rounds downrange, will give you such a satisfying feeling of always being in the heat of combat. Trying to reload the NC6 Gauss Saw in the midst of a firefight could spell your doom, and luckily, the GD-22S has very fast reload, so reloading while you're dodging in and out of corridors is very easy to do. There's not many attachments available to this weapon that completely benefits how the weapon is designed, but luckily, there's only a couple that we could really make use of. First off, your choice of sights. The iron sights on this weapon isn't that great, which is honestly to be expected from the new conglomerate. So since this weapon is built to be a close quarters beast, go ahead and grab your tried and true two times reflex sight. This undoubtedly gives any weapon it's attached to much adaptability in combat, whether it's at medium range or close quarters. This LMG does not allow the use of am any ammunition type, which is just fine. For your barrel attachment, the compensator is not available, but I would highly recommend rocking out the suppressor. 
Sure, you get the reduced muzzle velocity, but it's totally worth not showing up on the minimap while you're in some deep urban warfare. Next up, for your under barrel attachment, there's two things you could roll with. First off, which is my personal preference, is the forward grip. This negates nearly all horizontal recoil, so all you have to do is worry about keeping the muzzle down on your target while firing. The other attachment, which could work out to help benefit the CQC style of fighting of the GD-22S, is the laser sight. This attachment isn't my favorite in the world, but it will tighten the spread of your shots fired when you get caught off guard around a corner or just when you need to hit fire like a boss. Either way, I much prefer just aiming down the sights while fighting, even if I'm fighting an enemy at point blank ranges. Sadly, the laser sight gives absolutely no benefit while aiming down the sights, so to me, it's pretty much situational specific. So how bad is this weapon system going to hurt your cert pocket? Not too bad, honestly. It's got a base cost of 100 certification points, or 250 station cash for the weapon. Add on your optics of choice, which should totally be a 2 times reflex, and you're putting another 30 certs on top of it. For your under barrel attachment, grab either the laser sight or the foregrip, whichever one you'd prefer, and that'll be 100 more certification points. You can slap on your suppressor for your barrel attachment for another 100 certs as well. The total cost of this weapon is 330 certification points to get everything set up and ready for action. From the video footage here though, I'm just using a foregrip and reflex sight, so my total cost was just 230 certs. It's a pretty awesome weapon for such a low price. That concludes my overview of the Genudyne Dynamics GD-22S light machine gun for the new conglomerate. It's a very strong contender for close quarters and mid-range fighting, but is a little underrated compared to the Anchor and other weapon variants. Thank you all so much for watching and being awesome as well. Do you have an idea for the next weapon review? Drop a line in the comment section below or let me know how exactly bands will make her dance. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs it down and let me know what I can improve on. Want to see more videos like this? Go ahead and subscribe. It's free.